Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You gotta be pumped on that, right, Will? Computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Hi there! Finally back with another video card review. And holy Jesus, this monster is just it's gonna be fun my name is timmy joe I'm making videos computers on the internet got my pal nick fury here to help out you know because he's a thing it reminds me of nick fury whenever we talk about these cards hold on to your butts wow uh boom asus strix r9 fury review here for you and i've never played with one of these high-end cards from the previous generation from amd and holy boy howdy it's a lot of fun. And uh, there's a backstory to this card, too. A viewer sent to me. His name's Mason. He's a nice guy. He sent me this up, basically helping things out. And uh, you'll notice this box. Uh, this isn't for the freaking Fury card. What's the foot? Well, it's for a 980 Ti. My buddy Mason orders, uh, you know, wants to go 40, 1440p, wants to upgrade his stuff. Uh, he orders up a card. I don't know from where. He didn't tell me, but I'm assuming eBay. And uh, he orders a 980 Ti Strix. It's going to be a badass card. Gets it in the mail. Checks it out. And he's like, man, I'm super happy. Box looks, you know, whatever. I don't know if it was this banged up when he got it. But all the stuff's in there for the 980 Ti. You know, plops this in a system. Loads of drivers. Drivers won't move. And then it's like, well, Windows Update did put a, a driver in there. Let's play some games. Oh, okay, it's kind of working. Well, what's going on? on here so he pulls the thing out takes the heat sink and everything off because if you look at the stickers on here they say 980 ti if you look at this little sticker here it's flopping off it says 980 ti but when you pull it off there's a stack of hbm on the freaking die and it's fairly apparent that someone was up to some devious no goodities i don't even understand why it's like did you buy a, a, a fury and you you know were disappointed so you couldn't return it and you swapped it out and then sold the swap on eBay. I don't get it. Maybe it was returned, uh, you know, without somebody's knowledge on like Amazon or something like that. And it wasn't until Mason got it that, you know, the jig was finally up. I don't know. But whoever did this, like legitimately swapped all the stickers and everything. So unless you're way, you know, savvy enough to know that this cutout here makes this a fury card not any other you know version of the, this this cooler a 980 ti included uh then you'd be out and i would feel cheated and the 980 ti is a much better card than this for a few reasons which we will get into in a second like yes it's a pretty powerful card pretty cool but it's not a 980 ti and you know we'll, we'll get into some stuff so this is the asus strix version and uh i've had the lovely opportunity of using it on my test bench here uh 7740x running a whole gambit of tests you know with the avenger fury nick fury making it happen i got my eye on you uh, I did it on an older system too, my Xeon uh, 6 core system. I, I, I was using that on my test bench, but it's just, it does provide a bottleneck of sorts for stuff like this it's with DDR3 slower memory and stuff like that. So, oh, you got to get the best of the best, plop it on here, really make her happen. But we can see here, you know, it's a, you know, Asus Strix. I don't really like this um, cooler. I like the newer one much better. The red kind of, kind of slots it into being a certain look. That you're not going to maybe want in your system it's not very neutral and it's not like the msi you know twin frozer that you know you've come to love that cooler even if it is red if they you know they've been swapping them too much and uh it's even swapped again you know for this current generation so if you look at prices for these things i was maybe going to offer this as like a an alternative for high-end gpu prices right now but you just can't find the things there's like a handful of them on ebay we've got one for 415 not a bad price for what you're getting uh you know this one's not you know no, nowhere near done but it's only 300 bucks uh, you know, there's a Fury X even for 385. Here's a you know a Nitro, but then you can get into 980 Ti's, and for just a hundred bucks more, there are a lot more 980 Ti's on eBay, and you know they might be you might you might have to spend 75 dollars more, but it has two more gigs of VRAM, and that's going to come in very important because when I was running the older test bench with the Xeon, and I was trying to run DirectX 12, all the settings cranked with this thing. There was some bottleneck that wasn't allowing a tr a, an, an easy trade-off of the VRAM to system memory or whatever, what have you. And uh, I was actually crashing out of some games. You know how games will tell you if you only have a 4-gig card? 
like Deus Ex Mankind Divided or uh, Tomb Raider, they'll say, hey, you don't have enough DRAM, we need more than 4 gigs. Well, that actually came into play on an older system than this 7740X and crashed out some games with all the settings cranked, where with this system I wasn't having that issue. So keep that in mind. But I plop this into my test bench. Very good looking card, you know, card, sort of, you know, it's the red subjective, but it's, it's a substantial aces card. It's always fun to play with stuff like this. Now you fire it all up and it is a very beastly card. It is definitely punching well above a 1060, even six gig or whatever, the, the higher end, uh, yeah, six gigabyte 1060s or an RX, you know, 580 for sure. Like the, the processing power on this thing is there. But uh, the HBM and the implementation of the memory on, they should have just went with GDDR5 and put, you know, a lot of it on there, 8 gigabytes. And this card would still be way more relevant right now. Might, it might have uh, pushed its longevity with mining, of course. But and that's neither here nor there because, you know, had they made the memory 8 gigabytes in GDDR5, we'd be having a whole other discussion on how this thing's unavailable and, you know, not very good for gaming. So, anyways... Uh, I had a lot of fun playing around with it. It is definitely a beast of a card. It's reminiscent of, you know, the, 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 the playability I get with this, especially at 1080p where you're more, uh, you know, you're not going to be GPU limited as much. You can crank all the settings in this for the most part and get 60 frames a second. There are definitely some games where that is definitely not true due to the HPM or like the lack of video memory. And this thing will just mop the floor with it because it's got eight gigabytes and it's a 1070 and, you know, you overclock this like crazy. This thing, you know, speaking of overclocking, does not overclock very well. Well, it overclocks about 10%. And I think that's by design. I think you could put... Uh, you know, the BIOS from the Fury X on this or even, you know, uh, unlock all the ability to overclock it. And people could really jam some performance out of these things. But by design, AMD was forcing their, uh, you know, Fury, you know, the partners, the board partners that did the Fury cards to make sure their Fury X stayed relevant. So you can tell right at 1100 megahertz you are cut off from being able to overclock any further even though i'd imagine the headroom is there because the thermals aren't a problem and uh all the way up to 1100 megahertz it's it's like overclocking fine there's no problems there's no uh ghosting on the screen or uh you know gpu anomalies when you're running head and benchmark tweaking the settings and then as soon as you hit over 1100 crashes so it's by design, definitely, I'd like to play around with maybe custom BIOS on this eventually or something. See how you know far it'll go, but there's a limitations elsewhere that's not going to allow this to go much further than it is anyways. So, you know, might as well take it for what it's worth. That's why all my testing coming up in the, the benchmarks in a second was done at 1080p uh, with the maximum settings. You could go 1440p with this card. I didn't do 1440p testing, mostly because the i wouldn't recommend this card for uh 1440p unless you're willing to play with your graphics settings or play on higher medium because uh what if you put this in at 1080p and start cranking all the settings there were definitely times where i had to turn things down a bit to get that 60 frames a second and that uh get that uh one percent low uh at an acceptable level so to put this in at 1440p and expect it to do miracles nah -uh. The best 1440p card, in my opinion, is this card right here, and uh, anything above it, and, you know, of course, Vega 56, if you can ever get your hands on it, uh, would do pretty good at that, but this Fury is going to be limited uh, a little bit by, you know, it's set up and it's inherently you know set sail set sailed for failed when they didn't allow board partners to be the high-end manufacturers of the fury x they just made their own water cooling one i'll stop blabbering i have lots of benchmarks to show you and then when we come back i will make a final summation and we will talk a few more things and i love your faces or whatever i'm not philip defranco <laughs>
holy jeez, that was fun. So, as we see, for the most part, you can put this thing on 1080p, blast your settings, have a lot of fun, not going to run into too much issues. Weird games like Deus Ex Mankind Divided and those really high-end games that want, you know, that you have a lot of settings to turn on that don't actually end up making the game look that much better. Uh, you know, you put those to high and this will run pretty well. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun playing around with it. It's a beast of a card. It's not, it's not actually all that hot. With a mild overclock on it and the fan pro for profile set to uh, like 50 megahertz instead of the 100, uh, and the fan pro profile set to auto, the fans won't even kick on for your first like five minutes of gaming because this cooler is so good. It's got massive heat pipes and, uh, you know, some really good, you know, cooling situation. And it's actually, you know, a pretty efficient little sty and, and setup with a really good cooler on it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, getting it to that 1100 and then, you know, you pretty much want to set a fan profile of like 50 uh, percent and he, you'll hear the fans a bit uh, but is it worth it even overclocking it uh, maybe a little bit not really in my opinion I'd leave it alone it's good for what it is it's a 1080p card that will pretty much max out any video game and probably will for a little bit to come but once uh, you know like I say the HBM comes into play a little bit more and the next Deus Ex Mankind whatever you know tripled out or uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, looking for the Benoit balls in the ocean edition. <laughs> comes out, whatever the next you know high end games are, they might start start looking pretty tired on this platform just simply due to four gigabytes is no longer enough VRAM. I'm out watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I thank Mason for sending this in to the channel for us to check out. Uh, I would say if you come across one of these for 300 American, between 300 and 400 American, and you're in the high end GPU market at 1080p, even 144 hertz panel, FreeSync monitor, it's great for that. I have FreeSync monitor, works, works a treat. Uh, then, you know, go ahead and pick this up. But they're so rare out there, it's really hard to recommend them. And uh, even, you know, you'd imagine these would be under $300 by now. And they're not because of the state of the GPU market. I'd like to actually wonder, you know, why these aren't more used for mining. I know that GPU memory comes into play for that. But, you know, there's some lower end coins. I think this would just rip through some lower end coins. I'm sure it does. Uh, but probably just the power consumption. You can get, you know, a lot more mining done with one of these at a quarter of the power than you can with that, I bet. So I'm at Watch Jimmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. Thanks very much to Mason for sending this in. Uh, there will be some uh, follow-up videos with this. I'm going to use it in an upcoming, the best AMD build you could have had before Ryzen. That's coming up with a 9590 AMD quad core extra piled aider and uh, a whole you know little series on that that should be fun and uh, yeah I just uh, I might even try you know seeing if we can put some biases on this or, or flash something to make it a little bit faster because I was pretty sad at the limitations it's forced you know it has on it that's forced upon it and there's a whole community of people trying to figure this out but on the, the other hand it just it was kind of hard to find you know reviews of this it's like you can tell that it's a niche product that it didn't sell well, that didn't sell like a 980 Ti because the, there's a quarter of the videos out there for these things that there were for this, even though there are so many AMD fanboys. But uh, I will see you guys in another video. AMD Fury, you're my new top AMD card. I might even put you in my, my system. I might even, might even use you. So I'll see you guys in a, another video.